Hello lovelies, Emily here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Emily and I make fashion and lifestyle content here on YouTube. And today we are doing another DHgate bag haul, which I'm so excited about. I think this may be one of my favorite hauls today. I'm very excited about all of the fun stuff I'm going to show you. And yeah, let's get into it. So the first bag I ordered is one of the Jacques Mousse bags literally so cute i ordered it in black just so it'd be super versatile i think you will see a theme because i ordered a lot of black things unintentionally in this haul so doing a lot of black bags for fall which i'm very excited about this bag came super quickly which i was very excited about most bags i feel like take usually between three and four weeks to arrive but this only took two so very excited about that the quality and construction is pretty good the stitching is impeccable very straight lines. And the logo and hardware is very good as well. My one issue with the bag is at the bottom here, the leather is kind of smushed a little bit, which you're holding the bag like this, so you're not honestly gonna really tell. I'm the only one that's probably gonna be able to tell that it has like a little bit of smushedness, but honestly, not bad at all. But if that's the only issue, I'm gonna take it because it's so cute. I've been wearing this everywhere. It goes with so many outfits. It's such a unique bag with this giant top handle here. And I don't know, it's just super basic and classic, which I love. The bag also came with a crossbody strap, which I appreciate because I love to wear crossbody. There is a few stitching mishaps, I would say, on the crossbody, but not on the actual bag. So definitely something you can deal with, at least I can. So definitely not the end of the world. I'd rather have this have like one or two slight not perfect stitches versus the bag. Definitely something I can live with and it's not going to deter me from wearing the actual bag. But yeah, this is super cute. I love it. I might have to get another color. We will see TBD. But yeah, super cute. And this bag that I ordered is actually one of the first bags I ordered off of DHgate back in early, early 2020. And it was honestly really not a good fake at all. But I'm happy to report I found a really good dupe for the lovely Christian Dior book tote bag. I feel like if you're a designer bag girly, this is one that is on everybody's list. Everybody wants this bag. It's so versatile, so utilitarian, and it's just chef's kiss. I originally ordered this bag so I have a nice tote to carry down with me to New York City when I'm down there for work, and I've already used it once, and it was amazing. The one thing you have to look out for Dior book tote dupes is that the fabric is actually like woven together and not just printed on. And lucky enough for us, this bag has the lovely design woven together. You can tell the detail is just really there, which I love. And the handles are super sturdy. If you watched my New York vlog, you will see that I had a ton of stuff packed in this bag. I had my laptop, I had my notebooks, I had my chargers, I had an extra outfit. And it all fit and it did not fall apart and I am just obsessed. My one issue I have is just a personal issue. I wish there were pockets inside. There unfortunately is not any pockets inside. So I guess you have to like bring your own pouches and whatnot, which is honestly fine in the like grand scheme of things. It's not a huge deal, but yeah. I absolutely love this and it's so cute and I just love also when I'm not using it just like looking at it on my shelf in my office it's just so so good and to continue with the black bag theme this is the last black bag in the haul today this is my lovely new Gucci Jackie bag let me tell you this has been on my list for the longest time and I'm always like I don't really need this. I don't know how I'd style it. It's just, I wasn't sure if it was for me. And honestly, when it arrived, it was smaller than I expected. A little sad. But I think the fact that it's so small, I've actually grabbed this purse for outfits way more than I would if it was larger. And I've been wearing this like way, way more than I expected originally. It's so cute. It goes with everything. It's classic and it is such a good dupe. I ordered this from one of my favorite sellers on DHgate, so I'm very happy with the quality of it. There is like one 
stitch here that's like not perfect but other than that so good it's lined on the inside with suede it has a tiny little pocket and you can't really tell too too much but but the hardware here is super high quality it's just so good and it does say Gucci right there which we love love the bag when it gets all of the details right it just makes me so happy and unexpectedly this bag also came with a crossbody strap this crossbody strap is much better construction wise stitch wise to be completely honest I haven't used the crossbody strap just because I love carrying the little bag around just kind of like this it's just so perfect and I didn't really envision using it as a crossbody so so I don't know if I'll be using it in the future I'm sure I will at one point but I just prefer to have it kind of like on my arm it's so cute but yeah I would say this is definitely the biggest surprise of the haul so cute I'm in love and to continue with the Gucci theme I ordered the cutest little Gucci Crocs I first saw these early in spring when some of my favorite influencers ordered these and I just fell in love I'm honestly not a huge like Crocs girly but these were just kind of so unique and fun and I've been wearing them literally everywhere since I got them they're so comfy they have a nice little platform on them which I love because I'm 5'4 so slightly vertically challenged so always appreciate a little boost but besides them being super cute and comfy and functional the dupes are duping these look so similar if not exact to the actual Gucci Crocs I saw them in store last time I was in New York City and they look literally so similar they have all of the little details around the sides here and on the bottom it says Gucci made in Italy and these even came with a box couldn't find the box because I might have thrown it out but I love these so so much I think I might order a pair in black so I have like the white for summer fall spring and then the black for winter anyway I'm obsessed they're so cute if you've been thinking about these or seen these anywhere take it from me you need these like they will change your life I feel so cool when I wear them even though they're kind of like the dorkiest shoes looking ever I'm obsessed and yeah very very happy and this last bag we have of the haul is a, another Gucci bag as well this is the Gucci 1955 horse bit shoulder bag and this bag has been on my list for over a year I love the design I feel like it's so classy I feel like it gives me like very much like English schoolgirl vibes I don't know I tried on the real one in New York City and I was just from that moment on I couldn't stop thinking about it so I had to order a dupe this came not my best dupe in the world if I'm gonna be completely honest but still cute the hardware is nice just this fake leather situation it's not really the best and these little straps here one already fell off and it kind of has a plasticky smell which I don't love but I still think it photographs really well and overall the construction like isn't terrible at all I think I'm just super super picky when it comes to my bags um, but yeah it opens up just like this and the interior is super nice it's like real suede on the inside which I love and it's got a nice little pocket lots of storage in this which I love and I think once it stops smelling so much like a gross China factory I'm sure I'll be much happier with it um, but yeah overall the details are just not perfect on this bag but it's still cute it still photographs well so still gonna keep it in my closet maybe in the future I will try reordering it in the larger size from a different seller to see if that's better but overall I will still say this is definitely acceptable to wear out especially upstate when not many people know like that this would be a Gucci bag so not the worst thing in the world but still super super cute so yeah that's gonna wrap it up for the haul today I hope you enjoyed watching comment down below what kind of designer goods you would like me to order next from DHgate I would love to hear your ideas of anything you're looking for would like me to review etc
But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, you're a real one. I appreciate you so much. And be sure to like and subscribe down below. And I will be back again soon with another video. Bye.